Everything is art because everything is consciousness. The collective manifestations of the insanity that lies at the heart of the human condition have constituted the greater part of human history. It is to a larger part a history of madness. A significant portion of the earth population will soon recognize if they haven't already done so, that they are faced with a stark choice. It's either evolve or die. Indeed, the times are challenging for all of us. What seems to be most important right now is to reach a place of clarity from where we can start directing the waves of global and individual change in ways that are positively crediting the fact that we are all intrinsically connected with one another, that we are ultimately part of one human family, that we are all ultimately a part of oneness, the oneness of all of creation. This is a big one and goes way beyond hip intellectual talk about synergy and quantum physical interconnectedness. This is a new ancient way of living, one that is turning our understanding of ourselves and the ways of this world upside down. A new ancient way of living that requires you and me and the whole rest of us to wholeheartedly be present right where we are. One that enables us to accept that the overall turmoil that we are experiencing is leading us as a species through a doorway into more integrated ways of being with each other. A new ancient way of living that understands that our constant blame games and projection maneuvers are the distractional games of our screaming ego to run from the responsibility for our own lives. A new ancient way of being that understands that we are free-willed co-creators, living expressions of an ever-expanding force that sustains all of creation. An understanding that puts us back into the driver's seat of our own lives and as a collective back into the driver's seat of our shared planetary evolution. Conscious evolution. Conscious co-creation. Cutting-edge science has made a complete U-turn in the last century and has started to beautifully blossom in harmonious partnership with ancient wisdom and mysticism, pointing us towards the power of self-mastery in an attuned, interconnected multiverse. The change is happening with or without our willingness to be a conscious part of it. It just depends how courageously we are embracing who we really are, forever expanding and eternally becoming. And how willing we are in utilizing the intrinsic wisdom that springs forth from authentic self-knowledge in order to become responsible stewards of planet Earth. Self-loathing and separation politics are the fundamental ingredients that are lying at the heart of the human condition, that are lying at the bottom of the misery that we have collectively created on our home planet. Interestingly enough, you cannot really have one without the other, and together they keep endlessly looping our mostly unconscious attachments to fear, panic, terror, and suffering. Equally compelling is the fact that they're both based on outdated belief systems which have served the purpose of locking humanity into even more outdated slave-master dynamics. Self-love is an essential ingredient for planetary healing and has a choice immediately available to each and every one of us at any given moment, everywhere. The fusion of self-love 
and deep knowing that you are ultimately one with everything that exists has the power to cut right through our illusions. Break in through the cycles of fear that have for so long controlled our choices. So where are we going from here? A little thought experiment might illuminate the assumptions fueling this paper. So the implications and suggestions being made throughout its course can throw up some meaningful applications. Consciousness is the driving force behind all of creation. When everything in creation is permeated with consciousness, then everything is in various degrees creative. Even the most conservative of all definitions have recognized the relationship between art and creativity. One could say creativity equals art. My humble deduction would therefore be that everything is art because everything is consciousness. <clears throat> Whether we are aligning ourselves with the universal laws of creation or we keep falling into oblivion and material delirium doesn't really matter because every single person incarnating on this planet brings with herself the power of creation. Constantly interacting with the dynamic web of endless possibilities which eventually become our shared material realities. Material reality is realized by the power of our choices. The choice of unconditionally love who we are, the choice of reclaiming authority over our own lives as opposed to following other people's authority, is the choice of fully embracing our uniqueness and with it comes the power to remember our lost unity with and respect for all of life. We have been told many lies and let's not be deceived. We were also choosing to believe the lies we were told out of fear, ignorance or plain laziness. In the end it doesn't really matter as long as we step out of our comfortable miseries. It is time to remember that we are creators by nature and part of an interconnected web of cosmic intelligence. You have to know who you are in order to know where you want to go and what you intend to create. It's actually that simple. And as my playmate Robert A. Wilson used to put it, you are the experiment you are the experimenter as well as the laboratory. Shanti Shanti Shanti